Good morning, primary five. Hope you're all fine. Okay, let's start a very interesting lesson for today. But before we start, I want you to refresh the memories and think with me while answering this question. What kinds of things do thieves steal? What do you think? Yes, excellent. Thieves steal gold, money, devices like TV, mobiles, laptops, wallets, bags, very good, and so on. Excellent, you are. Now, after answering the question, we are going to learn a very nice comprehension skill as we used to do in every unit. We learn a new comprehension skill to use it in our comprehension passages. So our comprehension skill for today is summarizing. Who can tell me what is the meaning of the word summarize? When I summarize a story, what do you think I do? Yes, supers you are. I just retell the story in a short, brief form. Okay. So today we're going to learn how to summarize any story. But I want you to listen to a very interesting story and then we are going to know what are the steps for summarizing. The title of our story, hmm? come on, read aloud. Excellent, choco, choco, boom, boom. Okay, let's listen to the story together. Page 100. Read. Choco, choco, boom, boom. Choco, choco, boom, boom. The wheels on the train seem to be talking to a Kiko. They made a rhythmic toning noise. Choco, boom, boom. Choco, choco, boom, boom. Choco, boom, boom. Brussels! Capital of Belgium, next stop, said the guard in a booming voice. Is this your stop? He asked. Yes, it is, replied Akiko excitedly. Chocolate City. Akiko loved chocolate, but what she wanted to taste most of all was Belgian chocolate. Everyone said that it was the best chocolate in the world. Akiko glanced quickly at her map and ran down a long street. The air was full of delicious smells, creamy, nutty smells. Akiko breathed deeply. Soon, she thought, she would find a store and she would buy a selection of Belgian chocolates. Akiko turned a corner. In front of her, there was a palace belonging to the king and queen of Belgium. Looking up at the roof, Akiko spotted a black, yellow, and red flag, and beyond the palace, a big town square. Maybe I'll find my chocolate there, she thought. As Akiko skidded into the square, she couldn't believe her eyes. All around her, there were massive buildings decorated with statues, and flower sellers were selling red, yellow, and white flowers. Excuse me, Akiko said to a man selling french fries and spicy sausages. Is there a chocolate store near here? Yes, there is, laughed the man. There's one right down that street. It makes crunchy chocolate. Smooth chocolate, all kinds of chocolate. Akiko zoomed straight into the store. Her heart was pounding. Chaka boom boom, chaka chaka boom boom. Very nice. So, what is the title of the story as you have read? Choco choco boom boom. Very nice. And who is the main character of the story? Who is the hero here? Yes. A girl. What's the name of this girl? Supers. Her name is Akiko. What do you think that Akiko wants to do? Yes. She wanted to taste Belgian chocolate. 
So she's looking for a store that sells this. Great. Now, let's continue. May I please have five of your best chocolates? Akiko asked the man behind the counter. Of course, he replied, selecting the chocolates. And this extra one, he said, handing her a perfectly round chocolate, is extremely special. It's called a praline. Akiko closed her eyes and bit the chocolate exactly in half. Everything went dark, and she felt slightly dizzy. Her heart was racing again. Choc-a-boom-boom, choc-a-choc-a-boom-boom. -boom. She opened her eyes, and to her astonishment, she saw a strange kitchen with a large stove, a wooden table, and shiny pots and pans everywhere. Stirring hot, sticky, runny chocolate in one of the pots was a man who looked just like the man in the store, but he was wearing strange, old-fashioned clothes. Welcome, he said softly. I've been expecting you. Akiko approached the man, sniffing the delicious smells around her. Do you smell that? He whispered. It's a praline, my latest invention. People will love it. Akiko was confused. Pralines had been invented in 1912 by someone called Jean Newhouse. Unless that was it. The special praline she'd bitten in half had taken her back in time. And the man standing before her was the famous Jean Newhouse. Let's make some, said Jean. Together, Jean and Akiko mixed butter, sugar, chocolate, and almonds, and ladled it into small molds to set. Akiko was the happiest she'd been in her life. Not only had she tasted Belgian chocolates, but now she knew the recipe for pralines. Time to go now, said Jean, as he poured out the last drop of chocolate. You know what to do, don't you? Yes, I do, said Akiko and she swallowed the other half of the praline she'd been given. Everything went dark again, and the dizziness Akiko had felt earlier returned. Chock-a-boom-boom, chock-a-chock-a-boom-boom -boom went her heart, and suddenly, there she was, back in the store. The man behind the counter winked at her, and with a big smile, he said, Never forget, Belgian chocolate is the very best in the world. So, I want you to tell me, what happened to Akiko? Where did she go? Yes, she went to a chocolate store. And what happened when she was in the chocolate store? Very good. She tasted a chocolate called praline. What happened to her after tasting this delicious chocolate? Yes, she felt dizzy when she bit half of it and she went back through time. What did she find? As super as you are, she found herself in a kitchen, an old kitchen, and there was a man standing and he told her, Welcome, Akiko. Who is that man? Who do you think he is? Yes, he is the inventor of the praline. Very good. His name is? Very good. John Newhouse. Supers. And what did he tell her? He gave her the recipe of the praline. And then he told her, you know what to do when you 
want to taste the praline, then she went back when she tasted the other half of the chocolate and she found herself back to the store. Now guys, let's go to know how to summarize our lovely story. Welcome back guys. So, uh, when we want to summarize a story, any story, what do we do? We have some steps to retell the story in a short form. The first step is to write the title. The first step is to write the title. So what's the title of our story today? Choco, Choco, Boom Boom. Yes, very nice. Choco. Choco. Boom. Okay, who is the main character of the story? Snoopers, try to remember, huh? Akiko, Akiko the girl. Okay, what's the important event that happened first? Who can tell me? Yes, Akiko was looking for a store that sells Belgian chocolate because she wanted to taste Belgian chocolate. Very good. And the important event, number two, Akiko found a store and she entered it and she chose a chocolate to taste. She tasted half of it and what happened to her? Yes, she went back through time to see or meet John Newhouse, the inventor of the praline. And what happened at the end? Very good. She knew the recipe of the Belgian chocolate, the praline, and she went back to the store. Excellent, guys. Now, let's complete. You are going to write by yourselves, guys. Okay, a girl named Excellent, Akiko visits the name of the country, Belgium, and wants to taste the best supers, chocolate. She finds a, where the shopkeeper gives her a special, she finds a store where the shopkeeper gives her a special chocolate again. When she eats half of the chocolate, she feels dizzy. She opens her eyes to see that she is in a very good kitchen where a man is making chocolates. He is John Newhouse, the inventor of the praline. He teaches her how to make the recipe. And then it's time to go. Akiko eats the other half of the praline and ends up back in the store in Brussels. Thanks for listening, guys. Next time, you're going to make your own summary. See you. Bye-bye.